Hi everyone, uh, my name is Anil. In this video, we will uh, talk about how to discover Azure from ServiceNode Cloud Provisioning and Governance application. Uh, these are the steps which are involved in this process. The first one is to log into Azure portal and then switch to the correct tenant uh, that you want to use. Then in that tenant, we'll register an application. Uh, the application you can optionally give the endpoint URL as uh, service now instance URL. It is an optional step. And then after that, you have to set up a client secret for that application. Uh, and in that process, you will collect the key. And once you have that, then you grant access to that application uh, for the subscription uh, that, that you want to control from ServiceNow, such as discovering it and uh, deploying uh, resources and so on. So that completes the Azure set of uh, things. Then we will log into ServiceNow. We will configure credentials in ServiceNow. And then we'll run first level discovery to get the subscriptions. Then we will configure service account, then a discovery to discover data centers. And finally, we'll set up a cloud account, uh, which will further be used for all the uh, provisioning and other stuffs. Now, in the process of uh, setting up uh, like Azure, uh, we will capture uh, the information in these uh, fields. First is application ID or client ID, directory ID or tenant ID, secret key, and subscription ID. So this information will come from Azure. So now we'll log in and then we'll complete the steps. So we'll first log into portal.azure.com. So to do that, uh, log in with your account. And depending on the login setup you have, either you have to enter password or you have to authenticate against the authenticator. Uh, it can be a uh, yeah, so if you have uh, Microsoft Authenticator configured, then you can use that to authenticate to this. So once you log in, this is how your dashboard looks like. Uh, we need to switch to the right tenant. So go to Azure Active Directory and switch tenant there. So yeah, so you can see the default directory that you're logged in. Uh, if you want to switch to a different tenant, you click on this button called Switch Tenant. It will show you the different tenants you have. You can select the one which you want to uh, use and then click on switch. So that completes the first step, which is to switch the tenant. Next is we have to register the app. To register the application, you search for a blade called application uh, registration. Yeah, look for app registrations. Here it will show you if you have any registered app. Uh, and if you want to register a new one, you click on new registration. You give the application name. Uh, it can be any name that you can remember. Uh, this you can leave it as is. Support data account types can be this one. And then you can give this URL here. Uh, this is an optional step. And then you register it. So once you register it inside the uh, app, you'll get the client ID, you have to copy it from here, right? It will be in the top of the screen. So you should be able to get it from there and you can copy it. And the next thing is to s get uh, configure certificates and secrets. So click on the blade and then click on new client secret. You can give uh, a key, right? This is a secret name and the key is generated automatically. So var and demo key and then you can select expires as one year, two years and ever click on add so once you click on add it will uh, generate a value uh, you can go and copy that from here right uh, and that's the next step so that completes the step of setting up the secret key and uh, getting the key value so you pop we have now done this piece we got the key and then we also got the application ID uh, next we want to give uh, or grant access to the registered application for the subscription. To do that, we, we go into the subscriptions and then we give something called as RBAC, Role Based Access Control. Uh, we'll use that feature and we'll grant this registered application access to the uh, the subscription. And the access we'll give is reader. Right? Select reader. So here we go back to the uh, tenant and then we can do it from there so from home you can select subscriptions so here you will see the list of subscriptions you can click on them and you can open that 
so from here you have to select the subscription ID uh, which will be available here and then you have to uh, the next step is to grant access to the subscription so you click on access control in access control you click on add and select add role assignment in role assignment select reader leave this as is and select the application that you are you have just registered you can search for it uh, and then you can add it and you, then you save it uh, so once you save it it will be granted the role to access this application so that completes the next step which is this one and now we have to do the setup in service no side so to do that I log into service map so log into service now uh, then navigate to credentials here click on new and select Azure service principle and then here you will update the name uh, tenant ID, client ID, secret key. So this information we have captured from uh, Azure. So you copy them and paste them here. So if you see here, the client ID will be the client ID, the tenant ID will be the directory ID, and then the security key will be the security key from here. So once you populate this, then the next step is to run discovery. So there is a UI action called discover subscriptions. So you click on that, and that will go and discover the subscriptions. So in that process, it first creates a discovery status record, and then it will. Uh, get the subscriptions so here once the discovery completes you'll you will see an entry coming up and that once you open the record you should be able to compare that with the subscription ID that you have uh, collected in the previous uh, that has to match the subscription ID right so that completes the step which is configure credential service now and get subscriptions next is to configure service account to do that we log into cloud admin portal here in the cloud admin portal you click on manage click on service accounts click on new so here the account id is going to be the subscription id that we have captured in the previous step and then you map it to the discovery credentials that you have configured and then the data center type is azure the rest of this fields are optional so and then you can submit it uh, once you submit that the next step is to run the discovery of data centers so once you fill the uh, form and save it, you'll see a link uh, to discover data centers. So you click on that and that should discover all these data centers, the logical data centers. And that completes the next step, which is to create a service account. Then the third step is to uh, configure cloud account. So to do that, you click on cloud accounts and uh, then click on new then give a name and then select Azure as your provider, click on next. Uh, then you uh, reach to the screen and once you come here, you can select the data centers you want, you select all of them or some of them, and then you save this. So once you save it, that completes the setup for cloud account. And once you have done that, you should be able to run a discovery on this, right? Uh, so yeah, so it will show this uh, information once the discovery is complete and then you can see what resources are configured uh, against each uh, data center right and then you can continue discovering every time you want to refresh this data that completes the last step so let's do a quick quick review right the first step is to log into port azure portal with your credentials then switch to the correct tenant register the application uh, and then set up a client secret capture that uh, here and then when you create the application, capture the application ID here. After that, you grant access to the registered app for the subscription. Uh, and in this process, you get the subscription ID also here. Uh, and then you give reader access to the uh, this application. But if you want to discover, then you need to give a contributor access uh, as well, uh, in addition to reader, so that is required. And then once you do that, then in service now, you configure the credentials uh, with Azure service principle as the credential type. And then you run a discover to get the subscription then you configure a service account you run a discover to discover data centers and finally you set up a cloud account and run cloud discovery to get the resources within the data centers so that completes the whole process thank you for watching